The cutting and clipping that hackers do of people's videos can often produce the wrong experience of someone listening to them. It can often produce the ideology or the belief that in theory I might be a racist. What I have suggested is if you don't want me or anybody else to become racist or white supremacist, then your job is your, as a participant in your color of your community is to make sure that I don't do that. And how you do that is you perform to the utmost best standard of your professional set. And you do that by not swearing and cursing at me in inappropriateness when I don't even know you. But what you do for yourself is what you do for yourself. Your level of kindness to me is always great if it's heartfelt. But if it's a kindness in the form of financial abuse, I don't need that. And my guess is that I've always tried to be kind in return to the generosity and the gratuitousness. And I don't mean that the gratuity, apologies for the mixing of my words, the gratuity that I've received from the professional black set. Because frankly, in a part of my marketing data, I have learned completely that the most loving and kind group of people are frankly the black professional people. Now I'm not saying that to give accolades to anyone, and I'm playing that to be a player to anyone. I am saying that based on my overall experience in living in homelessness and trying to move forward in life when someone is constantly hacking and committing cybercrime on my life.